Hey everyone, I'm back, mid-month update, mid-March, and um, top of the morning to ya, it's St. Patty's Day, look, nice, I actually didn't even plan that, just Tuesday night I was like, I want to paint my nails, and I grabbed this color, and then it was St. Patty's Day, and yay, can't pinch me, um, hope everybody's doing great, I, uh, I'm alright, I'm tired. I'm tired. My two-year-old decided this morning he was going to get up at 5.15 and there was nothing that I was going to say about it. So he's in his room right now playing hopefully for the duration. I just shoved him in his bed with the iPad. We'll see. I tried to already put him back down a couple times but that didn't work. So here we are. Um, I've got some crafty stuff. I've got a cross stitch finish. I've got my whip update. I have a little bit of haul. I think I've got other stuff. I don't know. I made notes. You'd think that I would, you know, make notes and then have it in front of me, but I didn't. So here we go. Oh, and I've got some of my science. Okay. So, excuse me. And I've got burps apparently. So let's get started. So last weekend, I'm just going to sneak this in early, last weekend I went to my quilt retreat. This is really the first time that I really just didn't feel that sewy. Like I was only going for two nights, generally I go for three, but um, the kids usually go to my in-laws during that time and they were still in Florida. So I left them with my husband, which is fine, but being with these kids... 24-7 for any huge length of time is not my husband's favorite. He loves his children desperately. He does not love the grunt work that comes along with kids. You know, the feeding and the bathing and the amusing, like, constantly. But he did really well. Kids were fine. No big deal. So I left um, Friday afternoon, like, like 11.30. So it was still, it was late morning and came home Sunday night. And I only made three things, and I have one of them that you can see, like, in person. And then the other two, I'll insert pictures, because they were blankets. I really didn't even finish. I didn't finish three things. I finished two things, sort of. I don't know. Anyway, you'll see. So the first thing that I did was the snowman wall hanging. Here he is. I don't like him. He's kind of funky. But I've had this kit for five years, maybe. So here he goes. Here he goes. Keep watching. Keep going. Ta da! So, he was very fun. Um, all of these buttons got sewed on by hand. Um, I liked him. I'm glad he's done. It was my first time ever doing anything like this and a technique with this and the template that I used. And actually, the shape template you can use for. You can use like eggs, um, they could be pumpkins, there you go. So that was the first thing that I did. This was actually the last piece, the last project that I started at my fall retreat in 2015. So I was happy to get that done. And then I worked on um, a quilt top from pieces that I purchased. I don't remember where I got them at. I like the colors. I seem to recall that I got them in an unusual place, like Meyer, which is my grocery store slash like super center, kind of like a Walmart or a super target. I swear I remember getting them there, but maybe I got them at Joann's, but I got like a jelly roll and this little fat quarter bundle and then um, a, a larger piece. So I put that all together and I'll insert a picture here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I have no idea. But it's cute. And I'm, I'll throw it on the long arm and practice some of my long arm stuff. And then I started what I have dubbed the Tracy quilt. Um, she and I, at the end of last year, said that we were going to do a sew along for a chevron quilt. And I sent her a link to Missouri Star Quilt Company's tutorial for um, making a chevron quilt out of layer cakes. I'll link it below in case any of you are sewers and you're interested. So I took 
the fabric with me and I was going to make my chevron stripes gray and then when I got to retreat and started looking at it, I was like, no, they really need to be white and I didn't have any white fabric. And then my friend that came along that lives next door, she's like, well, I could always ask my husband to come because our retreat's only like 25 minutes away, maybe 35, 35. I can ask my husband to come and, you know, you just have your husband take over the fabric. So he did and my fabric came and Operation Better Than Tracy started. So I actually cut up all my squares, laid them out, and I sewed one row, but it's not done. But I did take a picture of it from the catwalk in our bed and breakfast, and I'll insert a picture of that here. I don't know when I'm going to finish it. Maybe not even until fall when I go back to retreat or whenever I feel like it. But I really like the way it's looking. Tracy's jelly. I know she is. So that was all I did at retreat. I did do some cross stitch, which is the first time in a long time that I've taken a craft and done something other than sewing. I just was not, I was not feeling the love with my sewing machine. It was so strange. Um, but it, it did give me a finish. So I had started this, which is now finished, uh, the night before retreat. So I started it on Thursday and I believe that I finished it Monday night, I want to say. Yeah, Monday night. This is um, Heart and Hand Needlework Monthly Mania March. I think it's from two, 2000 or 2002. I don't have the original pattern right here. I took it downstairs already. Um, this uses Weeks Dye Works, maybe a Gentle Arts, but I think it's mostly Weeks and the DMC is just in his face. So his skin is DMC, his nose, his cheeks, and the black for his eyes and his mouth is DMC, and then the rest of this is all over dyed thread. Oh, and that black. So he's cute. I finished, this was for the Stitch Mania, It's Not Easy Being Green, Sal. So I did it in like three days. That was really exciting. That was my only finish this month. But I'm only aiming for one finish a month, so I'm good. Um, whip update. Hmm, no. Um, I worked on the Clouds Factory Magical Creatures calendar. I didn't finish it, not yet. I'm not, it's like I was really trucking and I just kind of fizzled out. But I need to get back at it. Um, I got the Phoenix done. So here is the Phoenix. Let me get it so you can see it. My lighting's a little weird. The sun is out and I am recording earlier in the day than I normally do. So there was a little bit of reflection from the light. But here it is. This is done. Uh, the yellow is in Mose Sail Silk uh, Banana. And then it's the charted orange and red. There is a counting error in the tail, but I'm not going to point it out. But if you're working on this, you probably see it. Uh, I see I've got my needle threaded <laughs> for the cloud. So I still have to do the cloud and the little fireballs. I'll get there. It'll get done by the end of the month. Um, you know, I really try to get this one and my Brooks books done in the first week, but this was a really large block and Brooks books was holding me back a little bit too. And then I had like other things. I had a lot going on this month with stitch alongs and one of them I think I, I totally didn't do. We'll talk about that in a minute if I remember. So that was the first one. Um, I also worked on my Brooks Books Advent Animals. I didn't, I didn't finish this one either, but I've got a good start on it. Mary Mouse is number three. Make sure that I have the needle. I've been popping needles everywhere. Kind of weird. Some guinea pigs are acting a fool over there. So Mary Mouse, who looks, she looks. Hey, those look like teeth now. I don't know. Those, 
For a while, she looked like a shark. It was kind of strange. Um, but there she is. She's getting there. I've started an ear. Her face is done except for the back stitching. Uh, there's no back stitching. Her tail and her little legs and part of her arms. She's taking some time, but we'll get her done. We will get her done. I'll work on those more this week. My goal is to have Advent Animals and the Clouds Factory piece done by the end of this week. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I did work on my owls sale from um, KLT Charting. I also took this one on Quilt Retreat, but I didn't work on this one. Um, I finished owl number three. There are five out right now. I think the sixth one's coming out soon. Finished owl three. I don't know about my thread choice <laughs> for this project because this one's really ghostly. Oh, there we go. So there's my owl number three. Um, I did him in Mosail Cotton Ajax is the outside. And the inside swirls is Mosail Cotton um, Colts. Let me see if I can get in a little bit. He's cute. He didn't take very much time. I, I did him over one weekend. He's my weekend project. He took the place of Save the Stitches. I mentioned that last time. Um, so that's cute. I've got colors picked out for the next few. I was going to do the birthstone theme, but diamonds really tripping me up like I can't choose a gray because it'll blend in um I could do like a color and maybe a blending filament to make it sparkle and that's what I'm leaning towards I had like a brownie gray Krynik picked out it was something I don't know if it's in here. Oh, it's Threadworks? That's what it was. It was Threadworks and Overdyed Crank. And I don't think it's in here anymore. Oh, here it is. This is, yeah, this is what I was going to use. Because it sparkles and it's got a little pink and a little, you know, whatever it has. But it's over one on 28 count, and I'm just not convinced that's a good idea. I might still try it though. What do you think? For science. We'll see. Uh, my whip for the week, just made that up, is, was, it's not anymore, was Art Deco Cottage, and that was last week's whip. And I only worked on this like a night, I think. It was terrible. So I don't have a picture of where it was before, sorry. Uh, but here's where I'm at now. And I worked on the light yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I just worked on the light yellow. So all the light yellow you see is what I did for that night. Kind of sad that I didn't work on this more. I just, that was, I just couldn't, I don't know what I was working on that second week. Why oh, is my phone ringing every time? No. Just no. So, oh, well, my quilt retreat was over that too. And then there were a couple nights I don't think that I um, stitched. So anyway, that didn't get very far and that's not going to get touched again until this fall, I'm sure. So, we're done there. Um, the other plan that I had was for the, um, dust off your oldest whip or spring clean your oldest whip, which was a stitch along in, um, cross stitch finish line. Sorry. My back hurts a lot. I've done something to it. So it's very painful. Anyway, I got rid of that. I don't even have that piece in my possession anymore. I just couldn't make myself stitch on it. Nope. Couldn't do it. So I actually posted it on Listia. So I've seen a few people talk about Listia. And I was like, oh, check that out. So I posted it. Somebody bought it. I sent it off. Um, Listia is an interesting little place. I have put five things out there now, I think, or I've sold five things. Um, I just, I have four actually in the mailbox going out today. It's an interesting little auction site in that you don't use money use credits that you earn. 
So I'll link it below um, if any of you are interested in creating an account really quick and checking it out. I, I'm still struggling with how many credits equals a dollar amount, you know, um, so that because some people like are asking for 5 million credits and I'm like, what in the world? But there are people that have had some pretty good experiences. My selling experiences have been great. I haven't bought anything yet. Though. So we'll see. I'll link it below. You can check it out. But Boyd's Bears just went. So then I was going to do a um, mason jar lineup, which is my other oldest whip that I started in June of last year. And I got it out and like looked at it. And I never touched it, and now that's stitch along, I think, was only two weeks. And I'm so sorry, Lucretia, because it was your stitch along, and I didn't participate. I suck. Maybe soon. Um, my notes are over here, that's why I keep looking. So the other thing that I've been doing, which has taken up a lot of stitchy time during the day, because I try to stitch a little during the day, but I've been doing some fabric dyeing. And I really want to thank all of you for placating me in my silliness dying these things it's not all silly like I'm serious when I want to try it um but it's been a lot of fun and the comments have been wonderful and even if I haven't responded to yours I read every single one so thank you subscribers my stitchy friends for putting up with me um to my new subscribers <laughs> Thank you for watching those and subscribing just based on that silliness because it is silly, but it is really fun. So those of you that haven't seen them, um, I have three posted right now. I'm going to show you the pieces real quick that I've dyed and I have one sneak peek. So the first one that I dyed is this piece of, I kept saying 18, I counted it. This is 22 count, 22 count Ada. I did this with um, herbal tea and you can kind of see the modeling just a little bit. Here's the other side with the lines on it, which is weird. It smells, it still smells a little spicy, <laughs> like herbal tea. I love it. Um, I have picked a piece. I have picked a piece for this fabric. If I get back, you can probably see it a little bit better. The sun's washing it out. Um, I've picked a piece for this. I have a pattern. I just need to kit it up. So that's exciting. The second piece is also a piece of 22 count scrap. And this one I did um, with coffee, day old coffee, cold coffee, and then coffee grounds that I sprinkled on the fabric and baked. I really like this one a lot. Here's the bag, which I don't, ooh, something got in my eye, which I don't like as much. So this one, I don't know what I'm gonna put on. I think I had an idea, now I don't remember what it is. The most recent one that you've seen, which is ugh, my hair, gosh, um, which is not a tutorial. Sorry. I don't want to end up with something in my eyeball. Um, this was a piece of pink 14 count Ada. And I dyed this with wine. Uh, Maria Maria Sangria is what it was. So I dyed this with wine. It smells a little bit like wine, a little bit like vinegar. I didn't wash this one after. Um, it's got something on it. I have a piece picked out for this. But it rivals the next piece I'm gonna show you, which you haven't seen the video on yet. This is a piece of linen and it was a little, um, all of these were, um, fabrics that my friend next door purchased at Goodwill for me. So they were all 69 cents each, like 69 cents. So here it is. I have not put the science video out on this one. So I'm not going to tell you anything about it other than showing you this, the other side, this one. It's really pink in real life. That's all I'm gonna say. So I've had fun doing that. I've gotten some other ideas. Thank you for everybody who's giving me ideas. Um, the wine was Bright Stitcher's idea, Sarah. Um, 
That bright pink one was a viewer's idea, so I'm excited about that. And then somebody else gave me a food idea of using blueberries. Can't remember who that is, but I'll make sure that I mention it the next time. So blueberries are on my um, list of things to buy. Probably frozen blueberries. I don't know yet, though. We'll see. So, that, so I've been doing some fabric dyeing. It is really fun. I encourage you, and I say this, I think at the end of all those videos, I encourage you to try it. Just try it. It's fun. I'm not saying dye your own fabric for the rest of your life because there are people to do that and do that well. I'm not one of them, but it's fun. I have some cute fabrics and projects to put on them. So yay. Um, oh, I had another whip. Do you want to see it? Last night I worked on it for a little bit. Pardon my reach. This is my week three whip. So I just started it. Um, it's Lizzie Kate's at our house. Here, let me show you the let me show you the pattern before I show you the piece. Lizzie Kate at our house. It totally fits my house. And this is where I'm at. Excuse my hanging threads. So this was one of my cross stitch crazy starts and I only worked on it for I think one night um, and when I started it I got this done and this D so all of this in this D. So last night I finished these colored bits well this one's still in progress and the we and the O in this. I like this a lot. It came in a kit with the pattern and the classic color works or crescent color works. I never know. Classic color works threads. And then I bought the called for fabric, which is 32 count vintage country mocha Belfast. I really like 32 count Belfast. I do indeed. So this will get worked on a little bit more. It's in my little, my little spot. Okay. I do have a little bit of haul. I'm gonna show it to you and I'm not even gonna feel guilty about it because I know I was totally on a no buy 2016. I've been mindful of my buying though. And I've been selling some stuff. So, you know, some comes in, some goes out. So I made my first purchase from um, True North Needle Minders. Erica is located in Canada. And I got a few things. I got a Ernie needle minder, glare, glare, and a cookie monster. These came with just one magnet, which is fine. And one of them I got for free. I think this one I got for free because she had Bert and Ernie listed. And Bert was already gone, but she gave me Ernie because he was lonely. So those are fun. And I have back magnets too, so that's no big deal. I got this little coffee mug, or maybe it's hot cocoa, it's, it's probably hot cocoa. Very blingy. Um, this one came as a needle minder. I had asked for pendants, and then I think a couple I didn't ask for anything, so she just assumes you want a needle minder. And then, and then I was like, yeah. So what she does for hers is she puts a little button or a gem, I don't know exactly what these are, on the back of the minder. I was kind of surprised when I saw that when I got them in the mail. It's like, that's fun. Mm, that's awesome, Erica. Um, I got this little Rudolph guy. With the gemstone nose, I like him. And he also has the little heart thing. And then the piece. I was just stomps. Smells like glue in there. <laughs> this little rainbow pooping unicorn. It's probably farts. I don't know if it's farts or poops. Who knows? I should ask my boys. They're into that kind of thing. I'm not particularly into unicorns, but come on, seriously. 
whatever. So thank you, Erica. Check her out. I will link her Facebook group below. I like those. I need a minder. You can never have too many. Yes, you can. You can have too many. I believe that you can, but I'm not there yet. I got an itchy leg. I got my fabric of the month from Low Sale for the month that we're in, which is March. Forgot. I get the 28 count Monaco. Blue and green and white. It's pretty neat. It's very under the sea. And it smells so good. I don't know what detergent she uses, but I wish my laundry smelled. Well, it's a little strong for my laundry because I don't actually scent my laundry. But if my laundry had a scent, that would be it. It smells so good. And those of you that purchase her threads and cloth know how good it smells. I also got, uh, the day that I recorded last time, I got those needle minders from Erica. And of course, I got my... Um, under the sea fabrics fabric of the month so this is I get from her crinkle crinkle it's everybody's favorite I get from her 20 32 32 opalescent linen and this is in Florian so it's very pretty I don't know what's going to happen with this, but it's gorge, 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 gorge. I'm really excited for March's fabric to come because I know exactly what's going on that. And so does Tracy P. And so does Bright Stitcher. You know what's up. Um, I also got I still have whatever that is on my eye I'm terrified that something is gonna fly in my eye so somebody in stitch mania whose name escapes me and I'm really sorry because it's so rude that I don't remember who you are is has been working on um, a Joan Elliott goddess face I think it's moon goddess or faces of the moon I don't remember what it's called but I was so obsessed with that whole idea and so um, I looked up some of those faces and there were a couple that I really liked that I could not find. And I mean, I didn't look super hard, but I looked on eBay, I looked on 123 Stitch, I looked on Stitching Bits and Bobs and then I Googled and I couldn't really find them anywhere other than pole stitches in the UK. And I thought, well, I've been wanting to try one of their fabric grab bags for quite a while, so I'm gonna buy these patterns. And I did like the currency conversion and they were not any more expensive than the other ones I could get in the US. Just, I mean, the shipping. So I got them. So this is what I got from Pole Stitches. It was very exciting. It came in like 10 days, maybe less, I don't know. Um, one of these will be started for Stitch Mania. I just haven't decided which. So the two that I couldn't find readily in the U.S. Um, were the Autumn Goddess. Isn't she beautiful? Autumn is my favorite season. So Autumn Goddess, and I love sunflowers, and Winter Goddess, which I also love. These are the two that I could not, they weren't at one, two, three stitch, um, and I couldn't. I didn't really see them anywhere. So one of those is going to get kitted up. One of those is going to get kitted up and started. I feel it. Um, I also got, I'm not, I'm probably not going to show you. Crinkle, crinkle. I got this grab bag of fabric. Um, how many pieces did I get? I will tell you how many pieces I got. I chose the even weave. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of fabric from pull stitches and they're 
even weave grab bag. I mean, like here's one. There's there's scraps, but they're totally usable. Like something can go on here. Um, they're pretty. They feel really nice. They're interesting. I was really more, I think, interested in these because uh, I saw a lot of the scraps that um, Adele uses, and that a lot of them are from pull stitches. Like this one's really long and wackadoo. But something tiny can go in there. I don't know. So I got those. It was fun. Totally usable. A little something good for the stash, right? Um, pull stitches. So I made an order of stuff from Witch Out. Some of it's exciting, some of it isn't. I'll show you the exciting stuff. I had to break down and get this Rosewood Manor Halloween quilt sampler. Um, Kate, the Queen of Starts, and Katie, the Stash Queen, are working on this. They started it. Uh, it's very cute. And it comes with something that you can't see, but I feel compelled to show you, which I didn't realize until I got it. The pattern comes with um, a little spider charm. Now that I have this in my hands, I'm not sure that I like it as much as I thought that I did. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I gotta sit on that for a while because speaking of things that I purchased that I'm not at all sure that I like, I bought this Nora Corbett Mirabilia Dragonfly. I don't like it. I actually bought two of them. Don't ask. I don't like it. I got it, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, that's not gonna happen. So those, gosh darn it, those will go away. I will have to unload those, stash unload something. I saw you in my eye. I'm desperately afraid that that's gonna go under my contact, behind my eyeball, and life will be over. Um, I did buy this, Pixie Couture Poppy. Poppy. Tulips are my favorite flowers. Poppies are a close second. I love sunflowers too. Um, she's gorge. I don't know. This I don't think I saw on the 123 Stitch site anymore, which is fine because I can get it wholesale. Um, but I bought that direct from Witch Out. And I bought her bead pack. And one of the Krynix, because I didn't realize there was two. So, there's that. I bought some sparkly 18 count Ada, a whole yard, for my giant Harry Potter that I want to start. Sparkly Ada's not that exciting, so I'm not going to show that to you. And I got some magazines yesterday when I was out. From Barnes and Noble thinking that they would have the one with that really pretty peacock that I want and the one that has the Oz pattern in it and I didn't get either of those because they didn't have them yet so I just willy-nilly bought magazines because I couldn't rem I couldn't remember where the Oz pattern was and I couldn't remember the number of the peacock one and I bought two World of Cross Stitching, thinking one was probably the old, one was the new, and I'm pretty sure I already have one of those anyway. So I have to go through all my recent magazines and offload some of those because I know I've got duplicates. I'm really disappointed in myself. That's about it, guys. I've completed everything in my notes. You guys have been listening to Lucy snore, I'm sure of it. So I hope you guys are having a great month so far. I hope that you have a great St. Patty's Day. I hope that you don't get something stuck in your eyelashes like I have. That is the worst. Um, don't drink too much green beverages today. Please don't. This is one of the worst holidays for drinkers. Like, don't. Just don't. 
but you know, still have some fun. Pinch those that need to be pinched. Um, that's it. Look for a new fabric dyeing video soon. Um, I actually have already filmed it. I just need to upload it. So that'll be happening in the next few days. And, um, yeah, if you guys have anything that you want me to try, leave a comment. I'll, I'm a little hesitant to try food, like blueberries I can kind of get behind, but anything else kind of makes me nervous. Don't get too crazy because I won't be able to handle that. Um, stay stitchy. <laughs> And uh, I'll see you for sure um, at the end of this month for my March wrap-up and April plans. All right, talk to you later. Bye.